<laughs> All right, cool. Awesome. So the Ironclad team travels the globe, creating films for some of the world's best brands. But sometimes, the most intense moments aren't the ones in the script. Go behind the scenes and see what it takes to tell the stories of elite performers and boundary-pushing brands. This is Into the Fray. It's a beautiful morning in Virginia Beach. We're heading to North Carolina tonight to meet up with the Roadster Shop crew. Uh, we're doing a five-day road tour with them, starting in North Carolina and ending all the way down in Key West. Oh, shit. Some of the gear we're bringing with us on the road tour, three C300s, Mark III's. Each of those is also paired with a Fujinon Cabrio Premier lens. We've got two 20 to 120s and then an 80 to 300 for some of our long lens stuff for when they're on the track. No, you know what Andrew picked out is these. He's like, he's like, let's get some of those. He sort of like arbitrarily pointed. I was like, you mean these? And I like grabbed both bags of like flaming hot Cheetos and he's like, yeah! <laughs> We uh, just got to the hotel, the casino, and we're waiting for the Roadster Shop guys to pull in and get our introductions going. So the Roadster Shop is a group of guys outside of Chicago that build super badass modern hot rods. All the cars have like a really old school look, but it's like a totally new car. So it's brand new chassis, brand new engines, brand new mechanics through and through, and even some of the tech that some of these cars have is like nuts. Well, you know, it's the first day, so, you know, always anticipation. We're going to the BMW Museum and factory. We're going to be riding some Dragon's X5s. It's going to be awesome. That, along with many other things. We're headed straight from here to a BMW Museum. Yeah. They said they're going to let us get into a bunch of, like, X5s and then go off-road. Do they collect insurance information? I didn't see anything on the waiver about that. <laughs> <laughs> We found a good piece of road off the beaten path, so we pulled over and we're gonna get a couple drive-by shots. So cool. Let's do the whole train, guys. It doesn't have to be quite so fast, just so we're trying to get like of everyone together. No, you're shooting them like that they're cute. Oh coming around this morning. <laughs> just pulled up to the BMW Performance Center. So I'm kind of out there on the edge of the track just getting establishing shots. Looks like they got the track all slicked out up there. I haven't seen what the insurance liability waivers look like yet, but fuck it, right? <laughs> daily driver for my wife. I'll leave it, I'll leave it at that. <laughs> we just drove these performance cars. It's impossible to hold the camera in there, but we'll see what you can use. Good luck, peeps. <laughs> We're here at the Charlotte Motor Speedway to get our car profile for the 55 post. We do not have a permit to be here, so we're gonna try and make this shoot really quick. The car that we have behind me, a uh, 55 Chevy post uh, that we just finished up here maybe about three months ago. Yeah, yeah, just get shoot stuff of this car. Nice. How you gentlemen doing? Yeah, all right, doing good, man. We were just gonna be here for a couple minutes, but it's we got just, no problem. They just sent us over because they weren't aware of anybody. Yes, sir. What you gotta do. All right, thank you, sir. Luckily, these officers were really cool about it, so we're gonna wrap up the scene. You know, when you build these cars, I wanted to make this thing just feel like a damn space shuttle. Just wrapping up the first day, we just had a awesome interview with Jeremy from Oster Shop as he's talking about the 55 Chevy Post. And we're right here at the Charlotte Speedway, so it's a really great environment to talk about such an amazing car. Pretty dope. This is a great first day. We got a lot of really cool content, but I'm really excited for the rest of the week and what tomorrow holds. So the plan that we can't film inside is try to keep things really low profile. 